Hello everyone. So uh, given the recent changes on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you are now required to have a token for um, your game server to run. In fact, if I check the mailing list, uh, that's what I'm going to send to everybody uh, after doing this video. Um, you, We already uh, passed two stages of the phase that uh, is bringing us to these changes and the next week uh, starting from Monday tomorrow um, they will change the CSGO servers so that you cannot find and join them anymore if you do not have this special token into your server this means it's like it's like setting a, an account to the server uh, this is done so that you can uh, transfer the servers without losing players or also for Steam and Valve to ban your server if you do not uh, obey to their rules so in order to keep your server populated you have to connect to your uh, game server via FTP and then for, you have to do this for each game server that you have so you're going to CSGO and then you find the CFG folder there we go and now in, in here you have to create if you if it's not existing already an auto exec.cfg to create it you just go and create new file and then you fill in auto exec.cfg so you right click that view edit you open that and this will show up now what you need over here is to set the SV um, let me find that to be sure this one SV set steam account so we want to go back there SV set steam account and then uh, for this one you're gonna have to go over sorry this is the wrong one um, you're gonna have to go you have to log in on steam from your uh, web browser and then you have to go over here and go to the address dev and then of course I forgot about it again uh, this one I'm gonna send it to you guys don't worry so on this address over here now it's gonna list you the requirements that you need to satisfy in order to create this token uh, unless you satisfy those uh, requirements uh, you cannot do that so you need a phone number bound to your account uh, I know it's a bit of a bummer and nobody wants to give the phone number to valve or whatever but you need that if you don't do that and you don't have CSGO in your library then you cannot create a, and generate a token so in my case I have it and now we want to generate a token for CSGO so you type 730 over here and now we're talking about you can put anything in here it's like a memo but I'm gonna uh, just to stay uh, as with the standards I'm using client 2 and server 1 I'm gonna create that token and okay so here you will have this long number the only thing you need is this code over here hold on a sec so you only need this token over here you copy that and you go, go back to your editor and paste that make sure that you pasted the right thing you go back here and you check okay so after you did that you save it and you should go back to your filezilla or whatever client you're using you upload the changed file now uh, at this point the server has been configured right now you will have to restart it in order to um, have it uh, logged in into Steam again. So you have to, I repeat that, you have to do this process for each server you have. You cannot use the same token for all the servers that you have. So if I go back uh, to client 2, uh, I have more than one server. So server 2, CSGO, CFG, you see there's another one. So I'm going to have to do this very same thing for this one as well. Uh, let me copy that over copy says steam account then I'm going over here and I'm going again 730 and then client to server 2 um, of course I'm gonna delete these ones after I'm done with the uh, with the video because uh, it's a private code you don't have to give it out to anybody else okay so make sure that you're keeping those numbers protected and don't give them to anybody.
So again, you paste it in, save and upload, and then you restart the server. Um, that's about it. Uh, I hope you understood and uh, I really wish that you are uh, going to perform this change as soon as possible because if you don't do this you will not be able to join your server and nobody will, have, will be able to find it or join it anymore until you do this change. Um, so yeah, if you have questions feel free to email us at support at go-free.info or uh, else just enjoy. See you.